Hey guys, I've got a Trader Joe's and a Kroger haul for you today. Trader Joe's meat was just not looking good, so I had to add Kroger to my stop. I picked up some paper towels, non-grocery item, um, some organic large brown eggs, a couple of packages of the frozen grass-fed Angus beef burgers. Love those. They're a dollar cheaper than the fresh, which is great. Uh, Pesticide-free chopped spinach, pesticide-free wild blueberries, and two packages of organic strawberries from the frozen section. So I also got some tomatoes on the vine, a bag of limes, really great price this week, I think like $1.60 something, and some kiwi, some unripe bananas, <laughs> those are pretty green, <laughs> uh, greenhouse grown cucumber, some organic whole carrots, and a package of romaine hearts. They looked pretty good this week too. Now, unfortunately, my Trader Joe's was clear out of plantain chips, so I had to get two bags of the organic white corn chips, so it was fine. Some peanut butter and fat-free refried beans, a package of organic seedless raisins, and my favorite salsa, the organic roasted tomatillo, and a bag of whole um, rolled oats, gluten-free, and three of Trader Joe's version of beef jerky and some soap, which is also not food. So here's my receipt for this week. Um, so minus the $3.99 for the paper towels and the $3.29 for the soap and the 55 cent tax. <laughs> there we go. That was my Trader Joe's grocery. There we go. Not too bad. And let's move on to Kroger. Okay, so I got some of uh, my favorite chocolate chips, actually, the Enjoy Life mini chips, dairy nut and soy free, great for allergen folks, and some organic yellow mustard, a pork loin, a couple of raw mild cheddar cheese blocks, a roasting chicken, and some chicken breasts. So the grand total, minus the non-food items, 109.76. All right, guys, take care. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>